Now the standard topology on R squared is the product topology on R squared where R is the real line that is the set of reals with the order topology and when R squared has the product topology it is called the real plane and the basic open sets in the real plane are called open rectangles. Now in general, the product topology on the product set of n sets has as a basis the collection script B consisting of the finite product of the sets u sub i where u sub i is in the topology tau sub i and where the topology tau sub i is the topology on the set x sub i so proof a sub basis for the product topology on the product set is the collection script s consisting of the union of the inverse images under the projection maps pi sub i of the topology tau sub i which is the set of all inverse images under the projection maps pi sub i of the sets u sub i where u sub i is in the topology tau sub i and i is an index in the finite set from 1 to n so notice that for every element B which is the finite products of the sets u sub i in the collection script B this element is the finite intersection of the inverse images under the map pi sub i of the sets u sub i and hence every element b in the collection script b is a finite intersection of elements in the subbasis script S and therefore the collection script B consisting of the finite products of the sets u sub i where u sub i is in the topology tau sub i is a basis for the product topology on the product set. Now if we know a basis for each of the sets in the product, then we know a basis for the product topology on that product set. And so we'll state this as a theorem. Let X be the product set on n sets and let the collection script b sub i be a basis for the topology 
on the set X of I. Then the collection script B, consisting of the finite product of sets B sub I, where B sub I is in the collection script B sub I, is a basis for the product topology. on the product set X. So proof that tau be the product topology on the product set now a basis for the product topology is the collection script C consisting of finite products of the sets u sub i where u sub i is in the topology tau sub i and where tau sub i is the topology on the set x sub i. So for every open set v in the product topology and for every point in that open set there exists an element c in the collection script c such that the point is in this element which is a subset of the open set v Now, as the collection script B sub i is a basis for the topology tau sub i, we have that for every open set u sub i and for every point x sub i in that open set, there exists an element B sub i in the collection script B sub i such that the point x sub i is in this element, which is a subset of the open set u sub i. So for every element x in the set c, which is a finite product of sets u sub i, there exists an element B, which is a finite product of the elements B sub i in the collection script B, such that this point is in the set B, which is a subset of the set C, which in turn is a subset of the open set V. And hence the collection script B is a basis for the product topology. On the product set. Okay, so new definition. Let X and Y be topological spaces. A function F mapping X into Y is an open map if and only if for every open set U in the space X, the direct image of that set U is open in the space Y. Similarly, the function F is a closed map if and only if for every closed set C in 
the SpaceX, the direct image of that set is closed, and the space Y. So let's look at an example. Let tau be the product topology. on the product set. And let tau sub i be the topology on the set x sub i. Then each projection map I sub i, mapping the product set x into the set x of i, is an open map. It's proof. A basis for the product topology, tau, is the collection script b consisting of finite products of sets u sub i, where each set u sub i is open in the topology on x sub i. So for every element b in the collection script b, the direct image under the map pi sub i of the set b is the set u sub i, which is open in the topology on x sub i. Now for every open set V in the product topology, the set V is a union of some basis elements and so the direct image under the map pi sub i of the set V is the direct image under the map pi sub i of the union of the sets p sub j and this is the same as the union of the direct images of those sets and hence the direct image of the set v under the map pi sub i is in the topology on the set x of i since a union of open sets is open. And therefore the projection map x sub i mapping the product set x into the set x of i is an open map. For every index i, and the finite set from 1 to n. Now, while every projection map is an open map. Not every projection map is a closed map. So let's look at an example. So let's see be the set of all ordered pairs x, y in the real plane such that x times y is equal to 1 and x is greater than 0. Then this is the branch of the hyperbola 
x times y equals 1. That is in the first coordinate, or rather the first quadrant. Where the x and y axes are horizontal and vertical asymptotes, respectively. So let's consider a point on this hyperbola, and we'll consider a open rectangle that contains that point. Notice that every basis element containing a point in the set C also contains points not in the set Z. And so every open neighborhood U of the point in the set C contains both points in the set C and points not in the set C. That is, every point in the set C is a boundary point of the set C, and hence set C is equal to its boundary, and thus the set C is closed. However, the projection onto the first coordinate, the x coordinate, of the set C is the open ray from 0 to positive infinity, and the projection onto the second coordinate, or y coordinate, of the set C is the open ray from 0 to positive infinity, where this open ray is open but not closed. Okay, so we'll end here for today. Next time, we'll look at some of the properties of the product topology on a finite product set. So I hope you have enjoyed the 17th lecture. Thanks for watching.